morning and welcome to Sunnyside News, where we bring you only the most positive and interesting information from the heart of Florida right here in Polk County. Sunnyside News is sponsored by Nature's Place, home of the Key Network and Speech Therapy Services. Today is Friday, February 24th, 2017. I would like to welcome everyone to today's program and of course move right into the good news pieces of the week. This first good news item comes to you from Iowa, where the city of Cedar Rapids is jumping on the effort to increase the decreasing bee population. And as you know, this could actually threaten the entire global food supply. Well, Cedar Rapids is setting aside 1,000 acres of land to plant bee-attracting foliage in hopes that these pollinators will move in and thrive. Now, the city has received almost $200,000 from the state as well as the Monarch Research Project in an effort to boost the habitat for these pollinators, again, whose decline has greatly been attributed to habitat loss due to overdevelopment and also pesticides. Way to go Cedar Rapids, maybe the rest of the world will jump on that bandwagon too. The next good news item comes to you from California, where would, what would you do if you found $8,000? Well, Bob Hoffman was saving up to surprise his wife with a trip to Italy in 2018 when he retired, and he had actually saved $8,000 so far but was actually going to give the money to a relative who had fallen on hard times. So after he withdrew the money from the bank, he had to put it somewhere for safekeeping until he could give it to his relative. So he decided to hide the money in an old orange shirt in the back of his closet that he didn't wear anymore. Well, his wife mentioned to him one day she was donating some of her old clothes to Goodwill, so he reached into his closet, grabbed a handful of clothes from the back of his closet, and gave them to his wife to donate, completely forgetting about the money. And it wasn't two days later before he realized what he'd done. Well, after searching the Goodwill store, the shirt was actually found by a Goodwill worker in their warehouse and returned. How great. Hats off to that worker. The next good news item comes to you from Canada where 19 year old Sheldon Teague was staying the night in a friend's basement when he woke up at 3.30 in the morning to discover the house above was on fire. With no regard for himself, he went inside the house but could only see smoke and feel the heat of the fire. So he crawled on all fours when he encountered two little feet. The only thing he thought to do was pick up the person and go outside, which is what he did. He tried to go back in the house, but it was just too hot and smoky. And it turns out the person he rescued was actually a nine-year-old girl. Sadly, the girl's mother, father, and sister were lost in the blaze, but I'm sure she will never forget Sheldon. You know, recently our roving Sunnyside News team went on an interesting visit right here in Davenport, and they visited a woman who has some pretty interesting and unique animals that she raises and cares for. I would like you to meet Suzanne Storm. Again, she lives in Davenport, and her fur babies are a herd of alpacas. She has many in her yard that she cares for herself primarily, and now alpacas are very well known for the wool that they grow. In fact, alpaca clothing is actually quite quite prized as the wool is famous for being softer than sheep's wool and so it is quite high in demand. Now as far as alpacas being a good pet choice, it must be known that the animals can take some time to warm up to human contact, unlike our canine and feline popular fur babies. But once they become familiar with people, they can be quite sociable. But more on their terms, and I might say not unlike cats, I might add. Now Suzanne is the primary caretaker of her alpaca family and she says that if you would like to get to know them you are more than welcome to volunteer as a caregiver because she can always use an extra set of helping hands. I know what that's like. Well, moving right into the events of the weekend, I want to share with you that all weekend long at the Lakeland Community Theater, they will feature the play Willy Wonka. The shows will be from on 7.30 p.m. and also 2 p.m. on Sunday. You can get further information by calling 863-603-7529. 
Also happening all weekend long in Fort Meade is the Florida Flywheelers Antique Engine and Tractor Show. There will be a flea market there, a parade, you can visit the Antique Village, they will have food and much, much more. You can get further information by calling 863-285-9121. Happening on February 25th is Spring Training Day at the Central Florida Visitor Center right here in Davenport. This will be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is a family-friendly event. It is also free and it is to celebrate the game of baseball. You can get further information by calling 863-420-2586. You know, I want to share with you also starting on February 25th and running through March 13th is the Polk Senior Games at various sites throughout Polk County. There will be such events as basketball, bowling, dancing, swimming, skeet shooting, and much, much more. You can get further information by calling 863-533-0055. Well, that is our program for today. As usual, I would like to wrap up with a nice quote for you, which goes, Without a struggle, there can be no progress. And that was said back in the day by Frederick Douglass. Again, that is our program for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great weekend. Go out and enjoy some of those events. And always remember to keep your sunny side up. Bye for now.